everyone welcome back along to the channel today and I am out with my new Ondu 4x5 rise uh, first time out of it got a load of uh, Femipan 100 loaded up and I have come to my favorite location in Sussex today So the reason I'm uh, here today is uh, firstly I absolutely love the location and um, I was actually here a few months back now with my Zero uh, 45. Um, it's always a place I kind of had struggled with with a uh, pinhole camera. I was really pleased with the shots last time but I just felt it was an appropriate place today to kind of break in my ondu. Um, so I know we've got a low tide today so should we have to find something up on the shore I kind of always feel a bit bad coming back to uh, the same locations but not to try and reshoot images but I feel it's quite a good uh, practice to try and push a bit more find something new it's quite easy to get a, a same set images at the same locations images you know you work so I'm going to try something Hopefully find something new today, something a bit different, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on, we'll see what we find, I hope you enjoy. As beautiful as this view is, the sad reality is that helicopter has just finished doing its morning check along the bottom. Right, so I've got my first shot set up. So the Ondu has got a aperture of f166. So if you get a meter reading, that'll be about a one and a half second exposure. With foam pan, that goes to about a four second exposure. So what I'm gonna, what I've got set up is I'm gonna use the lower pinhole. So that should get um, more foreground in, hopefully. It'll probably vignette quite a bit on the bottom, I reckon. I don't know how bad, but let's find out. So with my first shot, I'm actually uh, quite impressed with it. Um, there's more detail in the foreground than what I thought there might be. The thing with the uh, rise pinhole, um, particularly in portrait mode, there's going to be uh, more of a vignette towards the uh, top or bottom, depending on how you've got the camera orientated. Um, with it on the uh, bottom, with the way the Ondu camera is set up, it's got um, three tripod threads one on the side here one on the bottom 
and one on the other side. So what this actually means is there is no uh, tripod head on the top so the camera is not really designed to be turned upside down so to speak. So by me mounting it on my uh, tilt shift head and actually having it upside down I kind of thought it might have been going against the uh, design of the actual camera um, particularly because foregrounds are normally a lot darker than the, the obviously the sky um, but I think uh, to play around with this a little bit more on um, something with a bit more of a brighter foreground this wasn't really the best shot for it being a, a black rock so maybe with some reflections in water or something I think would probably work really well so for the first one really impressed and uh, but I think I've got uh, room for improvement on this So for my second shot, I actually uh, have screwed up. Um, I found this really nice rock ball. It had the reflections of the cliff in it. I set the camera up. I've got everything level and straight. And I had about a 20 second exposure on it. I opened the shutter. I took my exposure. But when I went to uh, put my dark slide back in, for some reason, it kept getting jammed it just wouldn't go back in easy at all I kept trying and then eventually it, uh, something gave way and the uh, dark slide went back and then when I opened it I found this <laughs> oh dear Oh no! <clears throat> Somehow, my um, dark side has gone back in <laughs> the other side of my sheet of film. I've never had that before. <clears throat> oh well, I have to reshoot that image. So I did reshoot the shot. I reloaded my film, opened the shutter, did the exposure, and everything. Everything seemed absolutely fine. Uh, but unfortunately, when I developed the film, I had this blank sheet left over which is an unexposed developed sheet of film. Now both of these problems are obviously absolutely nothing to do with the camera but my bad um, habits. Uh, I accidentally double exposed a shot the other week as well. Uh, so it's something I just need to get myself back out of. Um, yeah. Or it's going to end up costing me a lot of money in wasted film. Right, I've got my next shot set up. Uh, got some nice waves crashing in around here, so I've got about a four or five second exposure. I'm uh, going to use the lower pinhole to kind of hopefully capture a bit of motion around the lower end and a nice view still over there. So, get that, let's go. Oh no, another problem. So with this one, I'd removed the dark slide and hadn't actually realised the shutter was already opened. This is something I normally check all the time on my Zero 45 and I hadn't checked on this. I checked on the other shots, but I think as I messed up the last couple and it hadn't been good, I just kind of lost focus on it. But the photo still came out actually quite nice and I'm really pleased with this one. For my next shot, I actually only stepped uh, a few metres forward 
I was a bit convinced that the previous shot wouldn't have come out at all. Um, so I kind of, at the time, wrote it off and just came forward a little bit as the tide was going out. And using the lower pinhole, I got this for my next image. And it's actually my favourite image of the morning, and it's one I'm really pleased with. There's so much detail in it, I think it really captures the scene and the mood really nicely. So it's one I really like, and it kind of really shows what this uh, camera is quite capable of. So I've got my last shot set up. Uh, I'm going to try and frame the seven sisters around these old groins here. I've got a six, seven second exposure on this. So I'm going to use the centre pinhole this time. So this is my accidental double exposure. You can just about see the cliff coming up the right hand side and a bit of the rock pool coming through the middle. Uh, as a double exposure, I don't think it looks too bad. There's something I quite like about it, but having a look at that last image on it, I can kind of see it could have would have come out quite nice, and it certainly would have been one I was uh, would have been quite pleased with. Okay, so I'm uh, heading back now. I should hopefully have or have had four half-decent photos. Um, obviously, I think I messed uh, two of them up. One with the dark slide going behind the film and um, accidentally leaving the shutter open on another one. So, what do I think of the camera? Uh, firstly, absolutely beautiful uh, looks and build quality. Absolutely stunning uh, to use. Really, really nice. Really nice. Um, The shutter system is uh, lovely, works really nice and smooth. Hopefully it stays like that. Um, a few people have mentioned if it gets any salt water or sand blown into it, it can be a bit gritty, but uh, as long as you keep it clean, it should be fine. Uh, but for a shutter system that doesn't have a cable release, I do think it is really, really nice. Some can be a little bit stiff and annoying and add extra unnecessary wobble to the camera this one doesn't seem to so really pleased with that uh, yeah so really pleased uh, I was hoping to do some comparison photos between the uh, standard pinhole and the rise pinholes but because uh, of the film problems I'll do that another time so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that um, and also want to say a big thank you to everyone who has um, donated on my buy me a coffee page uh, without you guys that really wouldn't have been possible um, it, you know really do have appreciated it so unbelievably much so huge huge thank you to all you guys um, it, um, yeah really really grateful thank you anyway I really hope you've enjoyed the video again please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time I head out thanks for watching see you later